to the God who gives to us strength and gives to us power, who holds our hand, who knows our yesterday, our today, and our tomorrow. All glory, all honor, all praise belongs to you. We bless you and we praise you this day for a day we've never seen before. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We thank you for salvation and the gift of the Holy Ghost. Just another day that you have kept us. Kept us from all evil with a mind stayed on thee. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our peace. Thank you for being our hope. We bless your name today. We praise you today, God. We love your name. We give your name the glory. There's none like you, oh God. There's none like you, oh God. There's none like you. Reign on us today. Let your spirit fall on us now. In the name of Jesus, cast the devil out of the mind. Cast the devil out of the wheel. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The blood cover. The blood make whole. The blood deliver. Do it for your glory. In the name of Jesus, touch that woman. Touch that man. Touch that boy. Touch that girl. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stretch out your hand today. Stretch out your hand today. Somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody needs you, Lord. Somebody needs you, Lord. Rain on us now. Rain on us now. Rain on us now. Rain on us now. Death, the Lord rebuke you. 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 The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And it is so. 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 And we thank you now. And we thank you now. And we thank you now. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and bless the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 21. While I turn to that passage of scripture, I do honor and praise our God for his goodness and for his many blessings. I thank the Lord for another day that he has kept us. I praise him for his goodness. I thank him for a testimony of salvation. Thank him for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I give honor to our Lord today, to all of the wonderful bishops of our church that are here and standing together in unity and solidarity. To the administrative assistants and leadership, superintendents, pastors, to the supervisor, assistant supervisor, district missionaries, the protocol of Wisconsin First Jurisdiction. To our guests that are with us, Supervisor King, Mother Owens, First Lady, Mother Williams, to all of the Lord's people, our visiting pastors, our friends. What an honor and a joy it is to stand. I am both honored and humbled to have this moment, this time, to share a word from the Lord. Our passage, our scripture has been found in Lamentations chapter 3. At verse 21, you'll find this word. This I call to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Last verse, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore, will I hope in him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the obeying of our God's holy word. I want to share with you what has been 
Our theme for the entire 2011 year, we've been just celebrating God, embracing our theme all year long, pursuing our divine calling through prayerful strategies and Pentecostal revelations. Will you repeat after me our thing, pursuing our divine calling through prayerful strategies and Pentecostal revelation. One more time, pursuing our divine calling through prayerful strategies and Pentecostal revelation. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to just share with you as I stand to take just a few fleeting moments how appreciative and thankful I am to all of our jurisdiction, our friends and our family for all of the kindness that you have bestowed upon us uh, and this jurisdiction and the work that has been given, given to our care, custody and control. I just want to express to you my heartfelt appreciation and thanks for everything that you have done, every prayer, every act of kindness, every demonstration of love. I do want you to know from my heart that I love every single person. There's nothing that I have in my heart, and I praise God for that testimony against anybody. I don't know a person that I have anything against. I just want uh, my life to be pleasing before the Lord. And I tell you what, uh, I'm just so overjoyed to see, as always, so many of the supportive congregants of Wisconsin First Jurisdiction. I want to say to you that as I stand today, I want to just testify and give you an update. As you know, on Friday, my brother uh, was and in, in, is on life support, my oldest brother, Dr. Roosevelt Daniels. Once I got word of that, my sister calling me, my sister by marriage, Rosalind calling me, it took everything out of me. I ju can just tell you that I can't begin to explain to you what happened to me at that time. And as I recover and continue to recover, I know that I've been told probably a thousand times today to take it extremely easy and just say a brief word. And so I will obey you to some extent and do what you have said to some extent. I do want to say that I'm so overjoyed. My sister Val flew to South Carolina on yesterday and was there with my brother. And it's so good to be connected with the church because as soon as I learned of what was going there, I called one of the saints, one of the pastors in that area. And they immediately went to the hospital. And that night here, Friday night, we began to pray for my brother. And the Lord gave me to dance as my brother danced and to dance in his stead. And I began to give God the praise and the glory because I believe that what the Bible says is right, that he is the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for God? If God can do anything, God can do everything. There's just absolutely nothing too hard for God. So we first pray because they needed his blood pressure to go up. And uh, I want you to know that his blood pressure has gone back up. They could not... The fluid that's on his body, they needed to be able to dial, give him dialysis. I'm so thankful that now they've been able to give him dialysis. God is a wonder-working God. There's nothing too hard for him. So we're just going to continue to pray. We've been given word by the doctors. If he keeps progressing as he is, they'll be able maybe tomorrow or Tuesday to take the life support system off his body. I praise the Lord. Amen. 
so I'm just trusting the Lord. I'm just trusting the Lord. And I just believe that there's nothing too hard for him. Thank you, Jesus. And sometimes, while you're trying to figure things out, the Lord has already worked it out. And somewhere I read in the Bible that before you pray, I've already answered it. I don't know what you have before the Lord. I don't know what you need from God. But I'm just here to remind you before you pray, God's already done it. He's already opened the door. He's already worked the miracle. He's already turned it around. Clap your hands and give him the praise. Please be seated. I won't be long. You see, you see, the devil did not like the fact that the people of God came together and made up our mind that we were going to address homelessness and deal with children with orphanage and deal with residency so that children would have a place to stay. The devil doesn't like it when the saints get together and we're united without uh, caring about what church you attend or what jurisdiction you're in or what color you're in or what gender you are. But when the saints just come together and give the Lord glory and make up our mind we're gonna do a job